Today I'm going to show you how to find Saddleport and Google Classroom so your child can log into our Zoom session. So the first thing they want to do is on their district Chromebook, type in their username and their password. For those who are returning to our district, you have a new password that was given in that manila envelope. Once you log in, students are just going to see their generic wallpaper. They want to locate their menu bar, and it should be on the bottom unless your child has already switched their menu to either the left or the right side. They're to go ahead and click on the Chrome to launch the browser, and then it'll open up to a generic Google home screen. In the search bar, they're going to go ahead and type in Saddleport. And parents, for second grade, you might need to help them this first time around. And then they're going to click on Enter or Return. And then go ahead and just click on that first link. If they logged off or if this is their first time logging into Saddleport, they're going to need to type in their username. And then they're going to need to type in their password or again, a new password for those who are returning to our district. Now, before I click on login, if it's not already bookmarked, I'm gonna go ahead and bookmark it. I notice it's not because this star is not, is it gray, not blue? So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna keep the name the same and I'm gonna click on done. And then you notice my bookmark for Saddleport is now on the bar. So now I can log in. And it should show up. Uh, the Google Classroom icon should show up on their home screen. Um, it might look a little bit different from mine. On the very bottom, they're going to might see the words home or home to. I don't have it on my saddle port. If you do see that, go ahead and click on one of those and then locate this Google Classroom. I try to set up every account so that it should show up on the first page, but it might be different depending on the device you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Google Classroom. And I've already set it up for all our hybrid students, so they don't need a class code. They're going to go ahead and click on second and third grade. And then all of their Zoom links, um, resources, weekly learning plan, Google Classroom assignments, they're going to be under classwork. So that's where everything will live. So I'm going to go ahead and click on classwork. And I'm going to go ahead and bookmark this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that star. So I don't need to always go into Saddleport now. But you can. That's always my default. If the kids say, where do I need to go? I'm going to tell them just go to uh, Saddleport. And I'm going to just change that long title to just GC and click on done. So now if you notice, I do have a bookmark for Google Classroom. Um, under the distance learning resources, which will always be pinned to the top, click on daily schedule and Zoom. And then the kids just need to click on the launch meeting Zoom. And then they'll click on open Zoom meetings and it'll take them to the live session. One last thing I do want to add is if you notice on my Chrome browser, I started with a brand new Chrome browser. I only have three tabs open. Um, the kids might have four. And the reason why is to find that weekly learning plan for the week, you're going to want to have to scroll down and find the most recent week of. Click on the weekly learning plan. And then um, the student will go ahead and click on the weekly learning plan to actually find the specific um, assignments that they're going to do when they're not with me. So these are the assignments they're going to be doing on their own. So in total, they should have four of these tabs open. They might have more if they're doing some work, like maybe they're doing the Flipgrid assignment or they're doing um, typing agent, and that's okay. But I want to make sure that they're Chrome browser has only educational um, websites open related to what we're learning that day, nothing else. And that is how you do Saddleport and Google Classroom.